This video will show you how to create an AI pipeline to predict stocks. I will show you how to use large language models to classify the sentiment of news article headlines about companies. Then we will use time series forecasting to predict stock prices into the future. This will all be coded as an interactive Streamlit Python web app for which we can simply change the stock ticker name to get forecasts for different companies. I will show you how to use a tool called Olama to run open source LLMs on your own computer. I should note that this tutorial and code is for descriptive purposes only and is not financial or investing advice. Predicting future stock prices is a complex undertaking that requires many assumptions. I only include one potential predictor of stock prices in this workflow. In actuality, there are many more known and unknown factors that impact stock prices. While this code should not be used verbatim to predict stocks, the machine learning pipeline I present could be developed into a more thorough stock prediction analysis. Let's start by looking at the overall AI and machine learning workflow. We will choose a stock name and pull time series data of closing prices from the Y Finance Library. We will also pull recent news headlines from the FinViz Finance Library. These libraries include the basic data that we need to get a stock news sentiment prediction model running. But we could alternatively use other sources that require paid API access, which generally would give us a wider coverage of news article data going farther back in time. Next, in our terminal, we will start a server connection with Olama and run the MetaLama 3 model. I will cover how to install and run Olama later in the video, which requires a computer with a GPU. We will then prompt Llama 3 to classify each article as positive, negative, or neutral. Using the positive and negative articles only, I will create a simple measure of the percentage of articles that are positive. I will then do some pre-processing and lagging to set up causal alignment of the news headline sentiment score and the current day stock price. With the data prepared, we can then fit a time series model to the training data and create predictions. I will use an RMAX model, an extension of an ARIMA model, to create stock forecasts three business days into the future. There are certainly better models for time series forecasting, but that is beyond the scope of this tutorial. To create the web app, I use the Streamlit library, which helps you build interactive and user-friendly apps with ease. Let's get started with the code. There are three sections of the Streamlit app. First, the importing of necessary libraries and the setting up of an LLM server connection with Olama. Second, the creation of functions that will import and process the stock and news article headline data, as well as calculate predictions and create charts. Finally, the Streamlit app setup, which creates the user interface and calls each function sequentially. We will be using several Python libraries, including Y Finance for daily closing bell stock prices, FinViz Finance for recent news article headlines for stocks, Stats Models for predicting Aramax time series forecasts, and Plotly for creating charts. We will also use Pandas and NumPy for data manipulation, holidays to ensure that our forecasts are only for days that stocks are traded, and Langchain community to connect to our local Olama server. We also bring in the Streamlit library for the interactive user interface. We next connect to the Olama server using the Olama function. We set the model name to the model we want to use, Llama3. But in order for this line of code to run, you need to first go to download and install Olama from the Olama website. Once you install Olama, start the application and follow the instructions to allow the command line tool to install. You can then open your terminal on a Mac or your command prompt on Windows and write Olama run Llama3. This will install Meta Llama 3 on your computer. Next, hold down the control button and the letter D to exit Olama. Now write Olama serve on the command line. This will create a local server running Llama 3. The connection is now set up and the Python code will call the server when the Streamlit app is run later in this tutorial. Back in our text editor, we can start writing the functions necessary to implement our workflow. Our first function is classify sentiment. This function takes a news title and uses our local Llama 3 server to classify its sentiment as positive, negative, or neutral. We use an f-string to embed the title of a news article within the string. Next, we fetch and process news data for a given stock ticker using the getNewsData function. This function fetches the news data from the FinViz Finance Library, applies the previous classify sentiment function to each news article title, removes neutral sentiment articles because they are irrelevant, and finally formats the dates. Now let's prepare the sentiment data for analysis with the process sentiment data function. This code creates the final 7-day% percent positive measure that I will use as the predictor of stock prices. This measure takes the total number of positive and negative sentiment news articles over the past 7-day period and then calculates the percentage out of the total that are positive sentiment. A value of 1 would mean all news coverage was positive while a value of 0 means that all coverage was negative. I chose a seven-day period to smooth out the sentiment data, 
but I could have alternatively chosen five days or 10 days or any other number of days. The decision really depends on the amount of news articles about the company that are published on a daily basis. Next, we fetch and process stock data using the get stock data function. This uses the Y Finance library to download closing bell stock prices for the stock we choose for a specific time window. The function then converts the daily stock closing price to a measure of the percentage change between the current day and previous day stock price. This will be our dependent variable for which we predict. There are a lot of reasons for predicting the daily percentage change in stock prices rather than the stock price itself. But the short explanation is that percent changes are easier to compare and predict, and they focus on how much a stock moves. We then combine sentiment and stock data in the combined data function. This aligns the data by date, and it also implements a one-day lag of the sentiment measure. This lag means that we are predicting today's stock market close by using a measure of positive new sentiment that ended yesterday. The next function calculates the Pearson correlation between lagged positive sentiment scores and stock percentage changes over time. This gives us a simple statistic to characterize the relationship between the two variables. Next, I create a function that will return a specified number of business days that follow a specified date. This will be used in the upcoming fit and forecasting function that seeks to predict three business days into the future. This function also ensures that upcoming business days do not include US national holidays. For forecasting, we fit an RMAX model. You can find an abundance of resources on YouTube and on the internet for the ins and outs of modeling this variant of an ARIMA model. There are many other classes of time series machine learning models that could alternatively be implemented here. Finally, we create and display the plot with create plot function that creates a customized plotly chart that includes the new sentiment measure, the closing stock price, and the three-day forecast for closing stock price. I link to the Plotly documentation website in the video description below if you want to learn more about charting with Plotly. Now that we have all of our functions, we can sequentially run them in a Streamlit app. I first want to create a sidebar with a text box for the user to input a stock ticker name and a button that will run the analysis. I use the st.sidebar notation to create a title for the Streamlit app, create a text input box, and create a run button. I then write an if statement with the run button that will initiate the analysis if pressed. The rest of the code runs based on the ticker chosen by the user. It uses the ticker to pull the different sources of data, runs the AI sentiment analysis, combines and prepares the data for analysis, then fits and forecasts the change in stock price before plotting it. We can now save this code, open a new terminal or command prompt window, and type streamlit run stocks.py. This will run the AI stock prediction app locally on our computer. I'm going to type the Starbucks stock ticker into the text input box, SVUX, and click Run. And within several moments, depending on the power of your GPU, you get the results. The blue line shows the standardized sentiment score. The green line shows the percent change in stock price over the day before. And the red line in shaded area gives you the forecasted percent change in the stock over the next three business days with confidence intervals. If you found this video useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more AI and machine learning videos.